Assalamu alaikum beautiful students today we are going to learn a very beautiful poem and also a very small poem titled when autumn came written by Faiz Ahmad Faiz and translated from Urdu into English language by an American poetess Naomi Lizard before I proceed I'm going to tell you people a very beautiful thing Average students study to pass exams, but great students not only study to pass exams, but also to increase their knowledge. And these videos are for them. Every student can get notes from market or guides, memorize textual questions and pass the exam. But these videos, they are uh, enlightening and they are highly educational and these great students they can benefit themselves by watching these videos today's lecture has the following uh, components first uh, introduction to the author uh, plus uh, the introduction to the uh, translator then title of the poem text of the poem or the text of the poem structure of the poem paraphrase of the poem theme literary devices glossary and textual questions First, we are going to uh, learn here uh, about the life and works of Faiz Ahmad Faiz. Faiz Ahmad Faiz was born in 1911 and died in 1984. He was a Pakistani Marxist poet, a teacher, army officer, journalist, trade unionist and broadcaster. He knew many languages, Urdu, Russian, English, Punjabi, Arabic and Persian. He wrote Ghazal and Nazm. His famous books are Naqshe Faryadi, Dasti Sabah, Zinda Nama. He was nominated for Nobel Prize in Literature, but he never got any Nobel Prize. Rather, uh, he got Lenin Prize Prize in 1962. He was arrested in 1951 and spent four years in jail. Why was he arrested? As I told you people that he was a Marxist. By name, he was a Muslim, Faiz Ahmad Faiz. He was a Muslim, but he was a communist also. So for the same reason, he was jailed uh, in 1951. And next, he was exiled to Beirut. Faiz uh, married Alice Faiz, his student in 1941. Well, Alice was his student at a college. And uh, they were married here in uh, Srinagar in Pari Mahal, in our Srinagar. Yeah, you were right. His marriage was solemnized by Sheikh Abdullah Hihatuda. Sheikh Abdullah, you know, uh, a prominent leader of our valley. Next, uh, we will learn about Naomi Lazar. She is an American poetess and playwright, born in 1936. She is famous for translating some poems of phase into English language. And that collection is titled Selected Poems of Faiz Ahmad Faiz. Title of the poem When Autumn Came. The title is easy to understand. It refers to the arrival of the season of autumn. Autumn has its own beauty. It spreads the golden color on nature. It ripens fruits, crops, and seeds. It rewards the hard work of farmers and helps them to reap and gather the fruits and crops for which they toil and sweat around the year. It at all, oh, may this dog go to hell. It adorns their soiled and sweaty faces with beautiful joys. However, face has portrayed autumn as the time of harsh cruelty and misery, a season that brings on doom and destruction. Therefore, the title signals tyranny, oppression, and violence, not beauty and pleasure. So in short, the title of the poem is a bit misleading. It doesn't tell us about the positive side of autumn. It only tells us about the negative side of autumn or negative impact of autumn on nature. And here we have a text of the poem. The poem is very small. Uh, it has only three sentences. First sentence deals with the trees. Second sentence with birds. And third sentence with the prayer. This is the way that autumn came to the trees. A very simple word. So this is the way that autumn came to the trees. Then column. So column means it is being explained how autumn 
impacts the trees, influences the trees, or rather vandalizes the trees. What it does to trees? It stripped them down to the skin. Uh, strip means literally, uh, this word strip means to remove clothes. Well, uh, skin, second word is here skin. Trees don't have skin. And third is here bodies naked. Uh, they say left their ebony bodies naked. Well, trees, we can't say naked bodies, trees. So what actually happens here is the poet has personified autumn. That autumn is not a season. Autumn is some cruel human being, some ruthless and merciless human being. And trees are not just here trees. Trees have been personified here. Trees are helpless human beings here. Now, just as a... Uh, a, a hooligan, a bully type person, uh, some bad uh, villain type person, some devilish person can attack uh, helpless human beings and tear their clothes apart and uh, uh, as say make their bodies uh, visible by uh, tearing their clothes into pieces. Same thing is uh, done by autumn to trees here. It stripped them down to the second. Means it removed their leaves. Not clothes here. Autumn removed the leaves of the trees and made uh, their uh, skin visible. Left their ebony bodies naked. Ebony here means black bodies naked. So it's natural, it's obvious. When uh, trees shed their leaves, their branches and their, uh, say, trunk, it becomes uh, naked, it becomes visible. That is what happens uh, in the season of autumn. It shook out their hearts, the yellow leaves. It means autumn, shook out their hearts, the, the yellow leaves. A position of hearts, understand, hearts. The yellow leaves. This is Akbar the Great. Hearts, the yellow leaves. Now, hearts here may, uh, refers to leaves as uh, is uh, say very uh, you can say obvious. It shook out their hearts. Means this autumn, uh, it shook down uh, the leaves of these trees, and then he says scattered them over the ground, and those leaves were scattered, were spread over the ground. Anyone could trample them out of shape. Anyone means any human being, any animal. If, if he walks on the ground and there are leaves on the ground, he can crush those leaves under his feet. So it's natural, obvious. Undisturbed by a single moan of protest. And that human being will feel undisturbed because these dead leaves, fallen leaves, they will not moan, they will not make painful sounds, and they will not protest. So, this first stanza uh, tells us, in short, that autumn destroyed the beauty of trees, autumn shook down the leaves of trees, and those leaves were on the ground, and any human being, any animal uh, can uh, crush, can trample those leaves. Next stanza is the birds that hear all the dreams were exiled from their song. Now, the impact of the autumn uh, is not only on trees, it is also on birds. Birds, they uh, perch, they sit on the branches of trees and sing songs. Understand? But autumn has uh, uh, banished it. Autumn has forbidden it. What has autumn forbidden? It has stopped birds from singing. That is why the birds that hear all the dreams. Now, birds, when they sing and human beings are around, they, if they can listen to the singing of birds, they feel happy, they feel delighted. And sometimes these, uh, the, the, these songs, songs of birds, the singing of birds can help human beings to see dreams. But when singing is banned, when singing is stopped, so they cannot herald dreams. Herald here means actually giving signal of, understand, giving message of somebody's arrival. The birds that herald dreams were exiled, were banished from their song. Means birds have been told not to sing. Hey birds, stop singing. Now autumn. Uh, it, it, uh, if you can imagine that autumn like some cruel police uh, officer, military officer and giving orders, hey birds, stop singing, no nonsense here, so were exiled from their song. Each voice torn out of its throat. It is and birds, understand, there is this disagreement of 
as a grammar but i think it is here refers to the species of birds each voice turned out of its throat so again it means that birds have been silenced they are not allowed to sing they are not permitted to sing they dropped into the dust even before the hunter struck his bow now you need to understand this line here uh, take the example of human beings if a human being is not allowed uh, this uh, freedom of speech freedom of action understand he is not allowed to chase his dreams then his life becomes hell he feels bored and he feels uh, very miserable understand then such a human being will prefer death to a life uh, where he is not allowed in which he is not allowed uh, freedom likewise here birds bird is allowed to sing and autumn is uh, made singing uh, you can say made uh, singing forbidden nobody can sing understand so so these birds when they are not allowed to sing they prefer to die that is what happened they dropped into the dust dropped into the dust means birds died understand and why uh, do these birds die because they are not allowed to do uh, they are not allowed to sing they are not allowed to do what their hearts want them to do even before the hunter strung his bow bow you know a weapon used to shoot arrows and hunter you also know here in this line autumn has been referred as hunter and it just says a hunter kills birds understand likewise autumn here uh, has a uh, killer birds but autumn has not uh, shot any arrow because there was no need of shooting arrows why because it's nature autumn snatched freedom from birds autumn did not allow birds to sing and it in a way snatched their freedom and those birds they prefer death to a life in which they have no freedom i think this second stanza is also clear first stanza deals with the trees second stanza deals with birds and then you have third sentence oh god of me uh, have mercy bless these without bodies with the uh, passion of your resurrection make their dead veins flow with blood again oh god of me now see here in this uh, uh, poem uh, this uh, autumn has been portrayed as a death giving season autumn gives death and may may here refers to the uh, season of spring spring gives life that is why the narrator the poet invokes praise the god of spring that see uh, autumn has destroyed everything now i request to you i pray you to bless these trees to bless these birds with life resurrect them resurrect them means give them life again understand make their dead veins flow with blood i mean is give them life again short so uh, autumn has killed everything now the poet narrator uh, invokes praise uh, the god of uh, spring to give life to birds to give life to trees finally he says give some tree the gift of green again let one bird sing now uh, this uh, intensity of this uh, prayer it, it grows first he says give tree uh, give life to all trees and give life to all birds then he says oh if it is not possible then at least to give life to one bird and give life at least to two, one tree so i think uh, i uh, explained it to the best of my ability understand next uh, you have urdu text of this poem now those who can read urdu i have uh i say got real version uh, or you can say original version uh, of this uh, poem also it is aur fir ek din yun khiza a gayi and this is in english here says what does it say here it says uh, this is the way that autumn came to the trees in urdu aur fir ek din yun khiza a gayi a banu आ बनु सी तनु के बर है न शजर सरंगु सफ बसफ पेश दे वारो दर और चारों तरफ उनके बिखरे हुए जर्द पत्ते दिलों के सरे राह गुजर 
جس نے چاہا وہ گزرا انہیں روند کر اور کسی نے ذرا سی پھوگاں بھی نہ کی فسٹ اسٹینزا سیکنڈ از ان کی شاخوں سے خوابوں کے سب نغمہ گر جن کی آواز گردن کا فندا بنی اپنے نغموں سے جب ناشنا ہو گئے آپ ہی آپ سب خاک میں آ گرے اور سیاد نے زہکمان بھی نہ کی نو ہیئر ان اردو وش از بیٹر بیکاز اٹ از ریٹن ود رائم اینڈ ریدم انڈرسٹینڈ بٹ انگلش ورشن از ناٹ دیٹ مچ گڈ نیکسٹ یو ہیو اسٹرکچر آف دا پوئم دا انگلش ٹرانسلیشن آف دا پوئم از ان فری ورس دا کمپلیٹ پوئم از ان ایٹین لائنز ڈیوائڈڈ انٹو تھری سٹینزاز انگلش ورشن ایٹین لائنز تھری سٹینزاز امیجز میٹافرز اینڈ پرسائنفکیشنز ہیو بین یوزڈ ان دا پوئم فسٹ سٹینزا پوٹ ریز destruction of tree destruction of trees second tormenting of birds and third a prayer to the god of may this is the structure next is paraphrase the narrator says that autumn has played havoc with the trees it has rendered them naked by shaking down all their golden leaves the trees Uh, look now black and ugly. The leaves are laying on the ground and people are crushing them under their feet without any mercy. The birds that encourage people with their beautiful songs uh, to see dreams have been either silenced or killed. Some birds have been frightened to death by the ruthless hunter called Autumn. The narrator invokes the merciful God to have mercy over the withered trees and dead birds. He prays God to bless at least one tree with greenery and one bird with the gift of singing fearlessly. Now metaphorical meaning, why I love this person, why I, why I love this, why I personally love this uh, poem is because of uh, this metaphorical meaning, not literal meaning. Now see metaphorical meaning. Fez was a Marxist poet. He and other Marxist leaders struggled to turn Pakistan into a communist country after Pakistan attained independence from British rule in 1947. However, that dream of theirs was dashed to pieces by those who succeeded in making Pakistan an Islamic Republic. Some Marxist leaders of Pakistan were killed, some jailed and some exiled. Fez himself was jailed for four years. The poem, When Autumn Came, is a metaphoric elegy on the broken dream of Pakistani Marxists. If you substitute Autumn with Pakistani Islamic government, trees with communist families of Pakistan, and birds with communist leaders like Fez himself, you will get a whole new meaning of the poem. when the narrator prays for the greenery of one tree at least and singing of one bird he it is pays himself praying for the welfare of his own family and the welfare of his own safety next you have theme of the poem theme is autumn the season of destruction you can uh, do here one thing Oh no. Well, as I said, the theme was here the destruction of uh, this uh, autumn. Next to you have here imagery. It refers to uh, uh, pictures, uh, uh, it refers to creating pictures on mind with the help of words. Uh, Sitri put them down to the skin is one imagery, ebony bird is naked, one more imagery from the poem, leaves scattered over the ground, uh, veins flowing with blood imagery. Personification in the poem is here, it sitri put them, it shook out their hearts, the trees uh, do not have hearts, but when they say trees have hearts, it is a personification, a single moan of protest, leaves cannot moan, humans moan, but when they say leaves moan, it is personification. Metaphor is here, ebony bodies, moan of protest, against, again. Next we have glossy trample, when it's crushed under feet, moan, a soft sound of pain, ebony, a black tree, withered, when it's dried, scattered, spread here and there, stripped, clothes taken away, exile, when it's banished. 
नेक्स्ट हेव टेक्चुअल क्वेश्चन द आटम सीजन इज करेक्टराइज बाय फ्यू थिंग्स वट आर दे आटम इज करेक्टराइज बाय रैपनिंग ऑफ फ्रूट्स गोल्डन कलर ऑफ लीवस हारवेस्टिंग ऑफ क्रॉपस एंड ड्राई क्लाइमेट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन डज द पॉय टॉक अबाउट ऑल दिस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स नो द पॉय डज नॉट टॉक all those characteristics he talks only about the trees shedding their leaves and the absence of bird music what is the impact of autumn on the trees the autumn spoils the beauty of trees by stripping away their leaves and leaving them naked fourth question is what happens to the birds when autumn comes the birds stop singing when autumn comes and fly away to warmer places Fifth and last question is why does the poet invoke the god of May? The poet invokes the god of May to give some tree the gift of green again and make at least one bird uh, sing. So with this, I conclude today's lecture. Hope it helps you. Remember me in your prayers. Assalamualaikum.